This game is called Integer Noughts and Crosses. In fact, you might like to write up the top. You might like to write up the cro up the top of your page. Integer Noughts and Crosses. So this is the name of the game. Okay. Now you've all played Noughts and Crosses before. There's going to be someone who has the Noughts and someone who has the Crosses. But this game has rather a few twists to it. Okay. First twist. Noughts and crosses, you usually need three in a row. For integer noughts and crosses, you need five in a row. Okay. Second twist. Each turn, this is why you need five, not three. Each turn, you get to put either, if you're the noughts player, two noughts down at a time. Or if you're the crosses player, two crosses at a time. Okay. Here's the way it works. Silently. I want you to decide who's the Noughts player and who's the Crosses player. And I want each of you, I want each player to randomly select a number from 1 to 10. It doesn't have to be the same number. I'm going to write down a start number for both of these people because I have to play both sides up the front here. Okay. So I'm going to go with 3 and 9. Okay. 3 and 9. Okay. You can pick any numbers you like. So, remember I told you. Each turn, if you're the knots player or the crosses player, you put two things down, right? Here's the way it works. Just follow how I play first. Okay, so I'm going to be the crosses player first, okay? Now remember I picked this, this three randomly, okay? So the first number I write down is whatever number I had before. Three, and then you get to choose an operation based on the numbers that are up there. So here's what I want to do. I want to get things in a row, right? So I'm going to go with uh, three minus two equals one the two number I ch two numbers I chose were two and one so I see there's a two and a one there can you see what I've done okay it's the other player's turn watch carefully they've got a nine so I'm gonna go nine I want to block that guy I'm gonna go nine take away seven equals two so I'm gonna put a seven and a two now it's the other guy's turn. Okay, now it's a new round, so I start I start with the number I ended with, and then I say, yeah, okay, you want to block me over there? I'll try and block you over there. I'm going to go five and six. Bam. Bam. You see what he's doing? Okay. All right, so now it's, okay, now I've got a two. That's the number I ended with, and I'd better stop him, right? So I'm going to add negative three. I have to, I have to, because otherwise I'm stuffed. Okay, what's two plus negative three? Uh, 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, that's convenient. I'm going to take that guy. Okay. Ah, you're multiplying. 2 plus negative 3. If you want to think, and this is why your book might be helpful. Okay, here's my number line. 0, 1, 2. Here's where I start. If I add negative 3, I'm going 1, 2, 3 to negative 1. Okay. So the goal is five in a row. You've got two boards there. Good luck. Your time starts now.